What's up everybody, Tony here with Tech Review HQ, and today we're gonna to be testing out a gaming microphone made by Fifine. This is the AmpliGame A8 Plus. Now you don't have to be a gamer to use this microphone. Everybody can use it, but it does have some RGB lights in it and it would be geared more towards gamers. Now this microphone does have a TriCast array built in, which gives you four different pickup patterns. We have cardioid, stereo, bi-directional, and omnidirectional. Now, whether you're streaming, you're doing a podcast, or you want the microphone to just pick up everything around you, maybe for some ASMR. This microphone has a pickup pattern for you. So I'm going to be going over all the features of this microphone. We're gonna see how good it sounds, but first, let's see what you get inside the box. So here we have our manual. Here is the microphone on a stand already. It also comes with this little adapter in case you don't want to use the stand, you can mount the microphone right to an arm. And it also comes with a really nice USB-A to USB Type-C cable that you can use to connect to your device. And the bottom of the microphone stand is weighted and it also has a nice rubber pad so you don't have to worry about it moving around on your desk. So here is the microphone itself, the stand that it does come with is made of all plastic as well as the microphone itself is housed in a plastic housing but it does have some metal mesh on the side as you can see the led is on the microphone also allows you to mute and unmute it very easily there is a little touchpad at the top here you just simply touch it once to mute and touch it again to unmute we do have a pop filter here in the front that you can easily remove if you don't want to use it it just simply comes off just like that and then you can put it wherever you want the RGB LEDs are able to be cycled. As you can see, it is kind of cycling through all of the colors on its own, but there's a little button underneath that you simply touch and you can make it a single color or totally turn the LED off. And also on the front of the microphone is a little touch pad where you can easily change the pickup patterns. You can also plug your headset into the bottom of the microphone so you can use mic monitoring so you can hear what your voice sounds like while you're recording. On the back of the microphone, we have a gain knob and we also have a knob at the bottom to control the volume of your headset. On the bottom of the microphone, we have our USB Type-C connection. We have our touch button that controls the cycling of the LEDs. And we also have the little three and a half inch millimeter jack for when you want to plug in your headset so you can mic monitor. Now here I have the microphone mounted on my mic arm using that little adapter. You can easily separate it from the stand that it comes with. I've actually been using a Fifine microphone to record all my videos where you do see me sitting here at the desk, probably for the past three or four years now. Fifine does make some really good microphones and they're actually really affordable. So if you guys like the way that this microphone sounds, I will be putting a link in the description for that as well. So now we're gonna test out the different patterns and we're gonna see how good the microphone quality sounds. Okay, so all the sound that you're hearing right now is coming directly from the microphone itself. One thing I also forgot to mention is it does have a shock mount built in. So if you were to tap the boom arm or the stand that it comes on, it should absorb those taps and not go directly into the microphone. So right now it's in the cardioid pattern. So anything that I say into the microphone should only be heard coming into the front of the microphone. We shouldn't really hear anything from the sides or we shouldn't hear anything from the back. And if we do, it should be very slight. The majority of the sound should only be coming through the front of the microphone. We shouldn't really hear anything from the sides or we shouldn't hear anything from the back. And if we do, so now we have it in the bi-directional mode, which means all the sound that you're hearing right now is coming through the front of the microphone and it should be coming through the back. So you should be able to hear both of those pretty much equally the same. Now we have it in stereo mode, so you should be able to differentiate uh, left and right sounds. Sounds also coming from the front here and from the back. So we'll do a test with left and right. So here I am talking on the right of the microphone, and here I am talking on the left side of the microphone. Can you hear a difference? And then here we have it in omnidirectional mode, and in this mode, it just takes sounds from pretty much everywhere around the microphone. So it takes from the front here, takes it from the right, takes it from the left, and you should also hear it from the front as well. What do you guys think about the sound of this microphone? Do you like it? Would you be picking one of these up? Let me know in the comments below. 
So all this recording was without the pop filter. Now I'm gonna put the pop filter in front of the microphone and see if it makes any difference. But first, let's say our peas. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. Now this is with the pop filter on. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. Try saying that three times fast. One other thing to note is the microphone does not come out of its little shock mount here and it cannot be rotated. So what did you guys think about the Ampli Game A8 Plus microphone? Do you think it sounds good? And will you be picking one up? Let me know in the comments below. Like I said before, I've been using the Five Fine Mic to record my videos for quite some time now, and I think their microphones have a really good sound to them, and I absolutely love RGB. And again, I will be putting a link to this microphone in the video description in case you guys wanna pick it up yourself. And if you guys like me and you wanna support my channel, please use those links because it helps me keep purchasing products and reviews to you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell to let you guys know when I put out new videos. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Later.